every single aspect of making movies is a giant pain in the ass. And it's never worth it. Suspect is green. Correction. Pink. Pfizer. Green. Oh, 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 I getcha. Yeah. I thought you meant green like as in new. We're following a green car. Um, okay. This costume's terrible. What do you think about some sort of headphone on the helmet? On the helmet? Like attached to it. <laughs> Space cat. <laughs> We're about to shoot our first sequence for Space Cop. Uh, do you have any, any, any comments? No. Are you psyched? Ooh! <laughs> Thankless fucking job. But I'm a space cop. That's just what I have to put up with. This is the only thing I have to remember. It's the only by. thing I have to remember by. This is my most yes. possession. Let me just slam it on the wall. <laughs> My dead wife from the future, who hasn't been born yet, because I'm trapped in the past. This is my most treasured possession. Ah, it's nice to be in my relaxation here. Now it's time for my stories. You forgot to knock. Cookies, yeah. Action. happen to be working on a film called Space Cop right as you came in with the video camera. I am working on the Space Cop logo um, as designed by Rich Evans. Hopefully everything's centered. I'm just uh, eyeballing everything. That's I'm, probably I, the best one. I didn't use uh, a ruler or anything. I think it's centered. <laughs> what, do they, what do they say? This sort of applies. Measure uh, once, cut twice. Don't try and fool us with your sorcerous ways, Lord Vader. By the way, you can donate to our Kickstarter campaign at kickstarter.com slash spacecop the movie. Please help fund a movie that you will eventually also pay for. I am disassembling this gun so we can add stuff to it and reassemble it. Uh, we're gonna make lights on the side. We're gonna drill some holes in here, and then uh, I'm sure we're gonna find some other ways to augment it and make it look like something other than the Nerf gun. It is. Oh my god! Oh my god! Rich Evans, lighting technician. Oh, wait. Oh, oh no! There we go.
Oh, this is just the beginning. Oh. Getting it all over the door and the building. What are you doing? Uh, I'm spray painting three inch uh, PVC uh, green. For no reason, really. No, this is gonna be uh, Space Cop's light bars on the top of his cruiser. We, uh, instead of just having traditional lights, we actually bought a real cop car uh, light bar, but it's awkward and heavy and there's no way to get the lights on, so we're gonna do an effect where it's future light bars. We are building uh, panels and doodads and knickknacks for the inside of uh, Space Cop's cruiser. What? What are you working on? Why do you keep pointing a thing in my fucking face? I'm trying to work. Get the fuck away from me. Rich is testy because we're drilling holes all over his car. And what a beautiful car it is. Jay, what are we doing? We are filming the miniature space cop mobile. Oh my god, it's a very complicated rig. Some uh, string. I can't believe you're using a green screen. Who are you, George Lucas? Should never use a green screen for anything ever. It's like you should never do shot reverse shot, ever. What else can they call us out on? Uh, uh, a talking cartoon alien named Jar Jar Binks. Is Rich Evans the Jar Jar Binks of Space Cop? Yeah. Yes. Where, where were we, Jay? Uh, today we were doing our first tests on our alien masks. Uh, they're being made by a, a fella named Dale. He had some generic masks made. We were doing some tests because we're doing a... Uh, in the style of Toxic Avenger Part 2 and 3. Uh, we're not doing appliances. It's just an over-the-head mask with a uh, mouth cut out that we would uh, use uh, spear gum to attach. And then they would talk that way. How hard is it to make like a, a prop like that? It, it's just a lot of steps. Uh, the the most important thing is the sculpt. These are from your drawings, right? These are from some stupid little sketches I made. We just said come up with aliens. I, I think was, we said that they should be sort of fish-like. I was, was trying like, to keep it simple enough that a human head would fit in the mask. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I, you know, in my heart, I wanted to do some really weird things, and make it like, <laughs> like eyes down here or something. Yeah. But we need to have an actor or an actress. And, right. So. And, and it's a comedy, so you want something that's sort of funny yeah. looking. And those those big eyes, it's it's sort of like the uh, the classic gray alien, but yeah. just with more more uh, shit, more more like gills, like more, more fish. It's like it's like a fish like gray alien. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> it's a little big on you. Well, on, on Jocelyn, we were having her wear the mask that's not being made for her. It was a larger mask, right. so hopefully hers, when it's right. done, will fit better. Did not work out quite as well as we had hoped, just because of the shape of the head. But Well, the first attempt was bad. The second attempt works. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of technical process did you have to go through to get the mask to fit right? Oh, we shoved a bunch of, uh, a bunch of stuffing inside the head. Your eyes closed. <laughs> You're not even stuffing. You guys shoved plastic shit. <laughs> it was like old, old grocery bags. <laughs> and then we shoved it on my head violently. <laughs> I'm done. I'm not gonna be responsible for this. <laughs> get it out of the head. Get it out of the Sorry, I'm hitting. Uh, uh, how to reawaken your sexual prowess? Why did you buy that? Are you having problems? What? I mean, I hit Nuki. Oh, there. there. Look at that. See? Oh, oh yeah. Hey. Yes. Right. But the eye holes are nowhere near my eyes. But otherwise, this is great. <laughs> oh, my God. That looks so much better. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot a lot tighter to the mouth. It's like, the, I, I don't know. The eye holes are just the way it, it's closed, yeah, it's though. Yeah, it's kind of really... 
Yeah, it's kind of stretched. Oh them yeah, it's stretching them closed almost. Yeah, it's like oh ah! oh I'm sorry <laughs> sorry Rich. I can't see it all. <laughs> this is the part where we all run out of the room and leave them here. Jay, you fucking ass. <laughs> Why don't we just take it off? Okay. He's strong, Rich. This is like childbirth. <laughs> It's okay. a boy! <laughs> it's a Rich Evans! <laughs> the first attempt at alien masks, I tried to do it, because I did some creatures for Feeding Frenzy, so I understood how to make molds and that kind of thing, but the alien mask didn't turn out so well. Can, can we see your alien mask? Yeah, it's in the back here somewhere. No. Um, I, it was there for the longest they, time, and then we cleaned, so I have no idea where it is anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can show you this, though. This is the mold I made for the, the classic Space Cop star. The star on his chest. Yeah, so. So this was my alien. <laughs> oh my god! It would have it had, I, I, I fucked up the paint. Cause you use latex paint and it gets clogged in the airbrush thing. So it was gonna be more detailed and have more shading and stuff, but, but yeah, this hold was it, mine. Hold it still so we can do a side by side. Yeah. Do a split screen of yeah. the, his alien mask versus this thing. Oh my god, Jay, that, that's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> well, I've made Glopkins for Feeding Frenzy, and they came out okay. So I was like, eh, let me try and make it another thing. Yeah, I, I, kind don't know, of... I don't know, I'd say okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's another word you could use. It's not okay. Okay, they, they came out as the best thing anyone has ever sculpted. The best thing that you have ever sculpted. That's true. All right, these are cryogenic storage tank, and people are going to come out of them frozen. Ah, the future. Now to see how my stock in Enron is doing. What are they made out of? Building this sort of random shit we found at Home Depot. I don't even know what these are. This has got a retaining wall or They go against something. your house by your, uh, by your... Like basement window? Okay, but anyway, I've got, I got six of these and they're all stacked on top of one another. I've got a piece of wood going along here just to support it all. And then um, I've got these cookie jars. And then these are being uh, bolted to the side and we're gonna slap a sticker on it that says liquid nitrogen. And there's gonna be tubes and doodads glued to this. Going on. Uh, we're filming, we're gonna execute the most brilliant gag, the most brilliant joke in Space Cup, which is the cryo tube opens and the skeleton falls out. Which makes no logical sense. Nothing about this makes sense, but it's better than the original joke. Rich, what was the original joke? The original joke, there's a woman in there with the skeleton. And then once the skeleton falls down, Space Cop says, at least he still had a boner. Why are we changing that joke? Because it was it's too terrible. Okay. Actually, you know what the real reason we're changing it? Because the original joke would have required an actress. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we're just doing it this way without an actress. All right, put the skeleton in the... <laughs> and the joke is better. Yeah. Rich, what are these and where did they come from? Okay, these are some old CD racks that they had at a comic book store. And uh, I need to turn these into alien control panels. But in order to do that, we need to gut them so we can fit our lights in here. So, fuck you, CD rack. Fuck you. Oh, no. This I is... just destroyed one of the CD racks. Oh, no. This is what I get for not being gentle. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. 
Superheroes are a movie. We, we got these, like, last year almost at this point. Almost a year ago, yeah. Yeah, and they've been sitting outside on our back lot ever since in the snow and the rain. And when I, when I did the first one about a year ago almost, oh my God. I had to use the Sawzall, and they were very sturdy. And now, after being out in the weather, it's just mush. Yeah, we it's had just, them covered, but... It's complete mush, yeah. so... We have to be gentle. I, I, I have to be gentle from here on out. We could probably use this tabletop. Oh, shit! Filming this makes me think of you doing the exact same thing working on Orange's Revenge of the Eggplant, measuring and cutting squares into other squares on the ground. How do you feel that nothing in your life has changed? That's wonderful. That's just wonderful, because things only get worse. That's right. Things only get worse. They never get better. So if they're the same, that's okay. I just took a saw and I fucking gutted the whole thing. I put tin foil on the bottom, and then we're gonna have a light on the bottom. And the light is gonna come out in this direction. Now what we have on the, the floor here are our paper strips, and these were all posted on a, a big board with, with dates, and there was lists under the, the dates over, of, of things we would film. And as you can see, all of our organization, it's all haphazardly thrown on the, the floor now. Uh, it is currently uh, February 1st, and, and as you can see, August 3rd, so we're, we're well, well behind. Or are we ahead of schedule? We're well, we're well ahead of being behind on schedule. Well, ah! What? God, Mike! We are getting walls ready for the spaceship interior. Here's my list of demand. Here's my list of demand. Here's my list of demand. Oh god. You want to explain the history of this set? The set was built uh, originally to shoot Dock of the Dead in, our Mr. Plinkett segments for Dock of the Dead. So uh, we didn't want to film it in the house because we wanted to take our time doing it, set up lights, blow the smoke machine off, shoot blood all over the walls. After we were done with our segments for Dock of the Dead, we said, well, so the set, let's use it for a couple more things. I like to keep this place very clean and organized. And I'm a slob. It's like we're some kind of couple that's odd. And then um, a sequence for Space Cop, originally supposed to take place uh, on the exterior of an apartment building. We decided to shoot it uh, as the interior uh, and use the set one more time before we finally tear it down today. One. Turn yourself in. The stove we bought for $20 at a thrift store. We got these cabinets 
uh, from a guy who was renovating apartment buildings. He had a warehouse full of cabinets. So I think we bought all these for like a hundred bucks. And uh, we really needed this Jack Daniels bottle here, so um, I, had to, I had to buy a bottle of Jack Daniels and, and drink it very quickly so that we had it on the set. And then I threw up all over Rich Evans. You've got a problem, Mike. We need, we need to talk about that later. You got a problem, the whiskey's the bottle is empty. Yeah, I That's know. That's the problem. That's the problem. Yeah, so while we were filming the scene, uh, I wanted cockroaches crawling all over the, the cabinets. The simplest trick in the book, you take uh, some fishing line and uh, attach it to a rubber cockroach. Cockroach on a string. Someone call ILM. Okay, the pot. Well, we needed a pot to boil, which you'd think would be easy because, hey, it's a stove. But it's a fake stove. It's not hooked up to anything. So um, what we ended up doing was uh, we took this pot, drilled a couple holes in the bottom of the pot, and then we have some tubes that are going through this now hollowed out stove through the back of our fake wall. And then I'm standing back there with a tube in my mouth just blowing air. Like that. Did you make that noise when you did? I made that noise when I did. I don't know if it helped on the camera. This baby's got rocks in its head. Um, so Jay, tell us about the baby. Well, we originally, it was just, oh my god, it's soaking wet. The original idea was our actor Zach was gonna get shot in the head and he'd drop the baby into a boiling pot of water. Uh, but we discovered after the first couple takes that the baby was too light. Bang! 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 So we cut open its fucking face and filled its head with rocks, and then hot glued the seam shut, and, and that made it land in the pot. A little bit more weight to it. foolish at all that we've spent days of our life rigging up this complicated special effect so we can shoot a sequence in a movie where we drop a rubber baby into a no. pot of water. No! No, I don't feel foolish. Okay. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell people, if, well, if I had to tell somebody that I spent my day rigging a pot with tubes and a fake stove, they would just be amazed. They would be, oh really? They would, they would say, why didn't you just shoot it on a real stove? <laughs> They would probably be amused. <laughs> it, it gives me stories to tell. That's true. Everybody is now safe. So you want two in a row? Yeah, from maybe here, like, So you reached up yeah. here, bam, here. From here I just do back fist if I were you. What are we doing here? We're doing some, I guess, stunt doubling of Rich Evans for Space Cop. Continuity is, is not a factor in this sequence. Continuity is for pussies? Continuity is for pussies, says... Who said that? That is... Is that... It's a famous quote by a director. Yeah. Was it Penny Marshall? <laughs> Do you feel like you can live up to Rich Evans's stature as an actor? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. Here's my list of demand. Here's my list of demand. Oh, God. Um, he's pretty good. He's a pretty athletic guy. I think he was going to pull off the martial arts stuff good, but um, they gave me a phone call and asked if I would come in and double Rich just to make sure. Um, he's probably got me on a few kicks and punches, but um, I, I did my best. Jay or Vincent Price? 
No, Vincent at Price. His current age. Vincent Price at his current age, which would be like 135, mm -hmm. right? Vincent Price. What are you doing, Mike? Uh, we're jamming a little dangerous firework into another set wall right behind Rich Evans' face. So we're recreating uh, our favorite line from one of our favorite movies, which is Russian Terminator. Uh, you've got a problem, you're going to die. You have a problem. You're gonna die. You've got a problem. You're gonna die. Exterior strip club back alley scene. Ow. Trying to get some backlighting on Space Cop. It does not work where we have it, so to keep it out of the shot, we're going to try and run an extension cord up the side of the building. They give they have given me a very specialized piece of technology. A ladder for getting up really high. And a hose. A man in a ladder is going to spray me with a hose. Well, I see space cop dialogue. What setting is the little dial on? Shower. Back in the future, I did important police work. I got to fly around and I got to shoot things with my laser cannons. Here, I get reprimanded just for blowing up a few apartment buildings. Space cop, there's more to solving cases than blowing buildings up in violence. You gotta use your mind and your wits. Fine! I'll solve this case without your help! We are using a Mace Windu plastic Taco Bell cup topper as a stand-in for our actor Chike Johnson and uh, he's going to get his head melted a la um, Raiders of the Lost Ark. I think Jay's dad or mom found this Taco Bell cup topper in his basement. It was in, yeah, it was in my dad's basement. Uh, Jay, Where it has been since 1999. Yeah, Jay collected them all when they came out for some reason. I think he was a fan of The Phantom Menace. So we are going to melt it with this heat gun. I'm now plugging up Mace Windu's two holes. He has one on his back and one in his button. Uh, and then, well, I'm not gonna plug this one until I pour it in Fright Props brand movie slime. This is actually kind of dangerous stuff because you're not supposed to get it on your skin because it'll burn you. You can't touch it, you can't breathe it in, and you can't look at it. He must have gone around that. <laughs> oh, Rich Evans. That is, that is I should have kept my original name, Holden. Holden Medicky. <laughs> I should have kept my original name, Holden. Holden Medicky. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want to turn and go. <laughs> <laughs> you can't look right in your face. <laughs> <laughs>